What's up, muscle car people? This is Brandon Muscle Cars, and I'm Matt. And today we're doing brakes on the Toyota Supra 2021. And I'm tired of these Hawk brakes. I'm not saying that they're bad brakes, just saying that they dust a lot. And when you have neon yellow bright wheels, a lot of brake dust doesn't look good. So we're gonna try these Power Stop Extreme Z26 brakes, carbon fiber ceramic low dust formula. I hope they don't suck. They may suck. They may just be for street driving. We will find out. If they suck, I'll go back to other Hawk pads that have low dust. But for now, I'm gonna try these, and we're gonna start in the back, because if I can't get the back, nah, I may still do the front. Who knows, we'll see. Starting in the back, you need two tools. You need a 14 millimeter, and you need a 19 millimeter. Oh, 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 what is that? What is in there? Dale, you, this is all you need. Yeah, all right. So 19 and a 14 is all you actually need. All right, so you get these two bolts out. First thing you're gonna have to do though, is jack up the car. Use a proper jack stand and the puck thing to go in there, so you don't die. Alright, you peel this off, move this to the back. These pads are like, brand new almost. Alright, here, come here, Kate. So, you can see here, we have to rotate and compress that, otherwise we're not going to get the new, new pad on. So let me get my tool and see if I can actually do it. There's a couple different ways you can do it, but I have a proper tool, so let's see. All right, so I'm gonna do it the janky way because for some reason I can't find my brake set. Might be at my house and not here. So apparently, I've never done this, you can use needle nose pliers. So, maybe we got it. We'll find out. If not, we'll put these back in. So you can see the Hawk pads, not very worn. But these have, well, I guess they're a lot thicker at this point. These have actually only been on, I don't know, a few months, five months. We only raced with them a handful of times. But, all right, let's put these in and see if we can get it on. Dale. Mm. Uh, let me change the Let's see if this worked or not. Well, yeah, it's, if it's, it's plain, compressed plain enough, motor, it's gonna be close. Ah, I pinched my finger. <sighs> Dude, it worked. I'm not gonna say I'm not shocked, but I'm quite shocked. And it only took a few minutes. Man. A lot of dirty hand within 10 minutes and a pinch finger, which is probably going to swell up pretty good here. Sweat. Guess what? Now I can make Caden do the other side. 
What do you think, buddy? Want to do the other side? No, you don't want to die when you ride in this thing. No, I see how it is. No faith. You gotta learn someday. All right. So I did the rear brakes wrong, and I didn't know it until I did the passenger side because there is a sensor on the passenger side, and the fronts are not all the same, or the the pads are not all the same. So you have two pads like this this one and this one and you have two pads like this so it has a larger area there that's where the wheel sensor goes so you have two with the wheel sensor two without so you need to have the wheel sensor ones on the inside and then the regular ones on the outside <sighs> maybe I saved you some aggravation maybe not I don't know but that's what you need to do so don't be a dumbass like me and do it wrong and then have to do everything you did over again. So, lesson learned. Learn from my mistakes, people. And just remember, if I can do this, anybody can do this. All right, back to the edit. Thanks a lot. Now we're going to do the front because we successfully did the back, which I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to. The fronts are supposed to be super easy. You just need a punch, a hammer to blow something uh, to knock out these pins. And then we can compress the caliber and get the pads out. Let's see if this works. Okay, so far it's going pretty good. able to get it far to get it out. And of course, my punch is not long enough. Hold on. All right, just use the pad to push it back in. And as you can see, this one is not very worn again. We're not changing them because they weren't working. I'm changing them because I'm tired of the dust. And they did squeak a lot, which I don't really care about the squeaking. I care more about the dust than anything. I couldn't really tell much of a performance gain over the stock pads. The stock pads never let me down, never faded. They were they worked great, so couldn't complain on that. I'm hoping that these new brake pads are as good as stock pads. That's all I'm looking for. I don't think they're going to like be the best performance brakes out there. I just think I guess these have a left and a right. guys so we got it all changed over uh, I'm slightly worried about that sensor uh, I do go in for an oil change tomorrow so I'm gonna ask him about that I don't know if it does not look like it's something that I can just doesn't look like it's a plug-and-play change so I don't know I'm gonna ask because it's like it's in there but it's not it's not tight like it was so I don't know I'm gonna find out um, all right, that's it. Now you've seen the front and the back. Now I'm going to do the other side. I don't think you guys need to watch that. So thanks for watching. If this helped you out, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Check out all the other awesome super videos. And we're going to be autocrossing this car all year. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you like us and you got a fast car, you better bring it. Thanks.